Oh no, it didn't work. Hi everyone, welcome to another unofficial Animal Artist Collective video, which I'm doing a week late. The last theme of 2018 is the poles, meaning animals in the Arctic and Antarctic regions. I started my research by re-watching the corresponding episode of Planet Earth called Ice Worlds. I do really like penguins, which live in the South Pole, but I decided to choose the area closer to me. And watching the documentary, I couldn't really decide on just one animal and ended up painting this movie poster type painting with portraits of multiple North Pole or Arctic animals. Jennifer Charlie Art did this for one of the earlier Animal Artist Collective themes, where she painted an illustration with multiple wetland birds, and I really like the look of that painting. I also recently watched Bailey Chase's Halloween video, where she drew a detective story or mystery type movie poster, and I like that idea too. I made a watercolor and acrylic mixed media painting. The background is a combination of a graphic shape and a landscape. I was thinking if the shape should be an oval or a diamond or a triangle. I thought about cutting the animal painting and taping it onto another paper where I'd painted the background separately, but I'd like to use double-sided tape for that and I don't know where my double-sided tape is, so I had to just paint the whole thing on the same paper. I decided on diamond shape for the frame and cut it out of grid paper and to make the background easier to paint I tried to glue on the diamond with matte medium. Not by actually gluing it on but sealing the edges with matte medium. I didn't know if this was going to work but I tried it on normal copy paper first and it worked fine. However, the grid paper would not attach to the rough textured watercolor paper smoothly, so I was expecting the outcome to not be perfect. I painted the background black with acrylics, and one of the elements I wanted to include were northern lights, which I have to admit, even though I live in Finland, I've never seen them. Part of the reason I wanted to add the diamond frame was that it would be hard to paint the northern lights behind the reindeer's antlers, which would be painted in watercolor, so part of the antlers should be inside the frame. I found this technique for painting northern lights with acrylics from a few videos, which i link below. Basically, you paint the flowy line first and then paint upwards with a dry brush. And I added stars or snowflakes by splattering white paint. I dipped a flat brush into white paint and then into water before splattering it. Then it was time to remove the grid paper and paint the animals in watercolor. As I expected, the paper was not sealed well and some black paint had bled under it and when I removed the grid paper, the watercolor paper actually teared a bit too. I fixed it by just painting white over the areas where the black paint had spilled. At least I know now how to not use matte medium. Masking tape would have been a better choice here to achieve the sharp edges of the diamond frame. Although my last Animal Artist Collective was a red deer, I've been wanting to paint a reindeer forever and this was a fitting theme for that. So I made the reindeer the biggest character and then added other animals in a smaller size, kind of peeking from behind the reindeer. None of the animals are to scale compared to each other. I'd also like to paint the snowy owl, but I stuck to just mammals for this painting. So there's an arctic fox, a walrus, a polar bear and an arctic hare. In the Planet Earth documentary, the role of reindeers was very brief, but they showed a bird that nests on the ground, protecting their nest violently against all mammals, including reindeers even though they're vegetarians. The reindeers were frantically running away from the birds. In the sketching stage, I started sketching with a blue colored pencil, as I often do, but then the tip broke and I switched to a green one, and I thought the combination of those colors actually looks nice, so maybe I should paint the animals in a blue, turquoise and green color scheme. And that would match the northern lights in the background too. 
I wasn't sure which color to use for the diamond frame. If it's blue, the animals won't stand out. I didn't want to leave it white either, so I decided on a metallic color. Bronze or copper could have worked too, but I chose gold. And since the gold shows up better on a layer of yellow, I painted yellow acrylic paint under it. I'll also link to a playlist of all the Arctic and Antarctic animal videos below, if you haven't seen them already. For more tips such as how to save leftover acrylic paints for later, how to clean your palette, or how to make acrylic paints more vibrant and opaque, click on the playlist on the screen and go watch my acrylic painting tips. See you there!